Hey everyone, it's Spiritual Whistleblower here. Good afternoon. Yes, I got a little powder on me because I got through showering and it's so hot outside. So I just, I go to town with the baby powder, honey. I'm sitting here looking like a powdered donut. I do not care as long as I'm cool and dry and I smell good and I'm clean. How y'all doing? Good afternoon. Um, like I said this evening, I probably will be going live around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's for my fellas. Fellas, set your notifications. I will be talking about the female narcissist this evening. Um, ladies, if you want to check in too, I am going to go over um, what a friendship is like with a female narcissist. If you're a female and uh, you befriend or she befriends you and you you both end up be becoming friends, what that process is like, and it always ends up in chaos in true narcissistic fashion. They gotta go out with a bang, they're full of drama. Um, so tonight's live, I'm going live, and I promise guys, I will not let my phone overheat because last time I was just babbling we went over an hour. I think I was going in on an hour. My phone overheated. So I'm going to give y'all as much jam-packed information tonight as I can. But, you know, I got to cut down on the time because we definitely don't want the phone overheating anymore. So, fellas, tonight we talking about the female narcissist. Ladies, you chime in too. We're going live. Thank y'all so much for the love and support. Again, all my merchandise, t-shirts, I have books. The link is down below. If you want to book a private coaching with me, the email is pinned down below. Um, next week, I am launching a webinar series about the structure of the narcissistic family, your parents, your step parents, and um, different abuse tactics. We're just going to get into it. It's very triggering, but if you want to heal and you want to get insight into your upbringing so that you can stop attracting narcissists in your life, get on it this webinar is going to be very informative uh what else what else um oh yeah i'm traveling you guys i'm on a tour around the u.s beginning august um i'm having support group meetings in different cities outdoors to meet the COVID 19 guidelines we keep it outdoors practice social social distancing excuse me philly is august 3rd uh los angeles august 22nd las vegas august 24th connecticut August 28th, New York City, September 7th, and Chicago and Texas is up next, uh, sometime mid-September, I think. That's it for announcements. I love you guys. Okay, okay. This video is for my ladies. Well, anyone. This, it really is for uh, everyone. Um, but, I, you know, I always got to holler at my ladies because so many of, of us are broken See the siren going? That's the universe ringing the siren and telling y'all to wake up. It's ringing in your ear, telling you to wake up, snap out of it, okay? Um, I want to read a very quick Bible scripture. It's one of my favorites. I have a bunch of favorites, but this is one, and um, I hope it resonates and you really give this video some thought also please y'all like share subscribe you are more than welcome a lot of people ask me can i share your video you don't have to ask me permission to share the video share it post if you're in a facebook group post my goddamn videos if you're in a domestic violence group share my videos get this word out we got to free people the shit is demonic and we got to get this. The devil, you know, that's why I stay under attack because the devil don't want this info out. I need y'all to get it out. Share my videos, please. Um, the Bible scripture, 1 John chapter 2, verse 19. 1 John, the first book of John chapter 2, verse 19. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us, but their going showed that none of them ever belonged to us. Ladies, anytime a man puts you in a position to be laughed at, gossiped about, and embarrassed by another woman, get 
rid of his ass and don't you ever take him back you understand me let me repeat it okay because i'm gonna tie it to the bible scripture anytime a man puts you in a position to be laughed at gossiped about or embarrassed in front of or with or around another female get rid of his ass and don't you ever take him back you understand me i don't give a fuck if this individual this woman is his mother i don't give a fuck if it's his messy gossiping ass sister i don't give a fuck if it's his toxic tramp ass baby mother you know the bitch that keeps her legs open in and out in and out she has no self-respect he can come fuck her anytime he wants because she's on the back burner with her low self-esteem having ass. Now she's sitting up laughing. This nigga done put you in a whole situation where bitches is laughing, bitches is gossiping and kikiing about how he fucked you over and played your ass. Especially the whores he was cheating. Them hoes that he was fucking, they knew all about you. Them hoes was sitting in, in, in the shadows. They was sitting on the back burner. They was sitting in the shadows just watching your ass. They was on your Facebook. The whole time you and him was together, they was just sitting there monitoring y'all, waiting, waiting patiently to strike. Like I told y'all, uh, what was the live at the, the other day? I had y'all cracking up. These holes be sitting in the dark, in the shadow, right? Soon as you break up with the nigga, here they come. They all come, they all come out all of a sudden. You know how roaches fly out? You know, when you turn the light on, roaches start scattering everywhere. These bitches, these holes come out like roaches when the lights come on. They be like, oh shit, the bitch is gone. We free now. We come out now. We these is all sister wives. They all fucking them. They all know about each other. Baby mother know he cheating on her with this one. And this one know that he got a baby mama that he's still fucking. And his mother know all the side bitches. His sister is cool with this bitch over here. His sister is cool with the baby mother. It's a big motherfucking circus. That's why God snatched you up out that situation. You did not belong in that fucking chaos. That's that low level gutter energy. So you's a queen. Queens do not belong in the motherfucking gutter. God snatched you up out. It might have hurt. It did sting and you felt betrayed. But God was sitting there watching the whole time. Let me tell you something. This, this is how God works. Mm. Your ex, you know, him being the funky ass abuser that he is. His job was to isolate you. Get you in the corner when nobody's looking and talk down to you, very condescending, put his hands on you, fuck with your self-esteem, fuck with your insecurities, provoke you, start arguments, use your own fucking reaction against you. Oh, he played with you. He toyed with you like a cat fucks with a mouse. A cat can corner a mouse and slap it around before he kills it. That's how the narcissist does his fucking victims. You was that victim and your ex played with you. And these hoes that he was fucking behind your back, they all aware of what he was doing because they was in on the gig. A bunch of fucking roaches sitting in the shadows. They couldn't wait to get you to fuck up out the picture. Now they all fucking and sucking them. They all taking turns. He could not handle you. You are a strong, powerful woman. And you need a king, a man with king energy, a man that knows how to lead a woman without degrading her, without verbally abusing her, without physically assaulting her. See, he saw his daddy beat on his mommy. His daddy and his mommy ain't shit. He was raised raised up around a bunch of fucking foolery both his parents 
are, are, are fucking ghetto, ratchet ass motherfuckers. So they pass that shit down onto him. So when he gets with a real quality woman, we not talking about material. See, a lot of these niggas get it confused. They think because a bitch got a nice car and she got money, blah, 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 blah. No, bruh. A queen is internal. A queen, whether she's broke, rich, whatever, it is her morals, her principles, her standards, her character. She will not tolerate disrespect. She will not tolerate foolishness. So you might get you a hoe with a little money, but this hoe ain't got no boundaries. She gonna let you fuck over her and, and all the fuckery and, and circus clown shit. And he, and he ain't gonna do nothing but use the bitch up for her money and break her and, and, and leave her dry. He gonna take her money and spend it on the next hoe. That material shit don't mean nothing when someone has low morals, piss poor upbringing. He can't handle a queen. Because his mama ain't no fucking queen. If he was raised by a queen, he'd know fucking better. He'd know to take good care of you. He, he would know to treasure you and uplift you. He would keep his motherfucking hands to himself. He wouldn't talk down to you. All your flaws about you, he'd be helping you become a better woman. He would elevate you. But a motherfucking clown fuck ass nigga can't handle it. The only way he can control you is by breaking you down. You had to get rid of that motherfucker. Now this nigga got you in the streets. He got his baby mother laughing uh, laughing at you. He got his mama laughing at you. He got his sister gossiping and talking shit about you. Any man that puts you in a position to be clowned, embarrassed, laughed at, disrespected, fuck that nigga. Don't you ever hear me good. Don't you ever take him back. There go the siren again. Look at the universe. There go the siren. Ring the alarm. Ring the alarm. Let it ring. Let it ring. Oh, the universe is working through me right now. Don't you ever, don't you ever take that motherfucker back. Because a real king, a real king, baby, when you with a real man and he knows how to lead, and he ain't got to put his motherfucking hands on you. He ain't got to cuss at you. He ain't got to talk down to you. He ain't trying to break your spirit. He ain't trying to kill your fucking self-esteem. He ain't jealous or fucking controlling. When you get with a real queen, oh, it's going to be all the way different. Oh, he going to know how to lead you and elevate you, honey. You're going to be happy. You're going to have a permanent smile on your face when you with a real king. And I'm going to tell you something about a real king. A no fucking bitch. I don't care if it's his fucking mother, his sister, his baby mothers, his ex-wife, his ex-girlfriend. Ain't no woman. See, it's cool. He, he can do all of this when he's in front of you. But the real character comes when you're not looking. What are you doing behind my back? Are you defending me and protecting me? Are you checking these bitches when I'm not around? Are you checking your mother, checking your baby, uh, your baby mother, your baby mama with her toxic ass? Are you checking your messy ass gossiping sister? Check these bitches when I'm not around, motherfucker. That's what real kings do. A real king ain't gonna put you in no position to be disrespected by no woman. If he does, dead him. Don't you ever take him back. You can and you will do better. And there are men out there that will never, ever do this to you. I love you guys. Catch you on live tonight. Later.